Okay, this is the continuation of the DV6000. We pulled off our plastic protecting layers. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves fluxed here. This machine's already been profiled for a DV6000, uh, so we don't really have to even hook our probes up because we've been running these boards by the dozen. Okay, so we're going to get some flux good in under that NVIDIA chip. A drop under each side. There's adhesive on those, but we're just shooting under the adhesive around around the adhesive in the gaps we can get. Um, some of them have very little gaps, but if you put a couple drops there and let them soak in, they do get in there. That flux seems to penetrate really well. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and throw this on the machine here and get ourselves reflowed. Now we rack this so that the ports are hanging off the front here. For a couple reasons, we we want to minimize um, want to minimize disturbing these ports. So we're going to go ahead and clip our board into place. Got to make sure our center pin lines up here. It looks like that's what's up. All right. So we're all flat and flush there. We our, we got four different supports, and then we got a clamp here which supports our middle, and then we got a clamp here which is supporting right next to our GPU, and that's important because. That's the part of the board you don't want moving around, so that's going to keep that part of the board stationary because we're supported all the way around. And then um, it looks like this chip actually is a little bit different size, so this is obviously not the same, um, not the same one we've been doing. I don't believe eh, it's, it's about the same size chip, but a slightly different position. This one did not have a second. NVIDIA chip on it, so I'm assuming it's just a different board. So we're going to go ahead and line up that chip with the heat um, with our nozzle. Now this nozzle is designed to be the same size as the chip. Uh, these chips are small, so we're going to match the size of the chip and we're going to allow the air to escape around the chip because it's adhesive on there. We're not going to drop down around the chip. We're basically uh, pretty much flush with the chip. We've got about a millimeter or so a uh, gap and then we're going to go ahead and start our profile and then that's going to go ahead and run through there and then that's going to be it once it's finished it's going to cool down the the chip um, this is our uh, modified Scotto HR360 this one hasn't even been finished uh, being modified yet we still got to install the additional probes and, and such it's been marked out but hasn't been finished but other than that the machine's been gone through and it is a very um, Nicely working machine, we have the probes mounted, but we're just using uh, remote sensors right now. Um, just doing a test. This machine is just getting, really just getting tested for our customer, and then we'll move on to another machine. At any rate, so far it's had 100% success, so we had some good success with it. And uh, we'll be doing about a, almost a dozen DV 6000s and 9000s today. And uh, that's pretty much it. So you had the uh, removing the the plastics. Um, the board's already been removed from the laptop. Make sure there's no battery and flux your chip as best you can around the um, around the adhesive. If you got a very small gap in the adhesive, allow some time and put some extra drops there to get some good penetration under the chip. And then uh, with the right profile, you should be fine. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's our DV6000-9000 um, video on how to basically how to reflow that board.